Right, it's early o'clock, um, it's raining, um, but this is my only chance to fish, so I'm gonna go fish canal. It's uh, last time I fished this canal, it was a bit murky, and uh, yeah, it won't be pleasant. I'm hoping rain's flushed it through a little bit, to be honest. This is my only chance to fish back at work tomorrow, midweek day off, so I've dragged myself out of bed pretty early. I'm going to give it a go. What I'm going to try just for a change is I'm literally going to take five lows. That's all I'm going to take. Uh, got a spinner bait, a frog, which I probably won't fish because it's raining. Um, and I'm going to just chuck in a jerk bait, a tail bait, uh, a small softy. I've got like a, a lightweight. A lightweight jerk bait rod, so how many is that? One, two, three, four, five. I'll make it six. I'll just I'll just chuck a jig fly in. I'll take one of these big articulated jig flies. Like I said, probably won't fish a frog, so and that's it. That's all I'm gonna take. See how we get on. Um not expecting well, I've only got a couple of hours and then I need to get back, so I'll give it a go, see what I can come up with. See if I can catch a fish on camera because this uh, GoPro 6 is not out out yet. Don't know why I did that. Yeah, hopefully there'll be some fish. Right, I'll make a start with this spinner bait. I like to fish this reed line across the far side, so spinner bait will mean I can fish right into it and hopefully pull some out. It'll be a bit like fishing Sweden, hopefully. Uh, still a bit of colour in water, but beggars can't be choosers. Just get quite busy along this stretch, so I'm hoping that coming early will, will help. Picking a bit of weed up. A little bit of weed. Work it a touch faster, keep it up off at bottom. I expect if I get to take it, it'll either be tight into this this edge or it'll be against that far edge, so they can always follow in, I guess. Yeah, some mid line on there. All I'm going to do is work that far line and then just have a cast down this edge here as well. tight into that edge That's what spinner baits give you a lot. I landed right in that patch of weed then. Just flicked it out. Put it right in that gap. Come on, Pike. There's been all these little bits on the far side, all these little gaps between weed. I just 
you take one step to the right, I can fish a totally different line. More or less same cast. When you're fishing a canal like this, if you look, the area straight in front of me is a bit I've just fished from further down, so you don't have to fish every swim. A couple of little holes like that I'd like to get my spinner in that I can probably get better from here. But if you can cover it from another slot, save yourself some time and you don't have to fish in every single swim. Now it's starting to open up a little bit now, but there's a few snags, I've just hit one there on the far side, so I'll stick with spinnerbait for the time being. And it gets to, it's going to get slightly deeper in a bit. Let me try a bit of something different then. Moving pretty fast, so this spinnerbait's a good bait for searching. Maybe if I get a swipe or a follow, I might put something different on. fish this spot but sometimes I'll cover the same spot from a different angle um, especially if I've missed a fish or had a follow it can be worth covering that same spot back from a different angle oh there's a frying edge there look. down there looks like a good spot jerk bait time was that up titchy data Nice and bright, erratic. See what we can do. Ah, it's not massively deep along here, so I'm confident that I can fish a jerk bait. We see jerk baits we won't get down that deep. The thing about this little jerk bait is I can fish it sort of standard and have it gliding, or you can really mix it up and it it darts about all over fish it a bit faster with this slightly wider area now So this is a, a big feature. The problem with big features is they get fished a lot. See how fast that came up. I hope the camera picked that one up. Really come up and nailed it fast. Not 
massive fish. Take that. Nasty or cold this one, I'm gonna have to snip it off. Back. There you go, we're in all kinds of trouble then. That's the end of the jerkbait for today. Cut that hook off. Um, hook was stuck in the net. Fish were really lively, thrashing about, so I just snipped the hook off. It was a bad hook cold. Um, got fish back. And I'll carry on now. I'll just use something else. If I'm really struggling, I'll uh, I'll take an hook off somewhere else and swap it out if I think that this is the only thing that's going to catch. But it's got me a fish. Which is what we've come out for. A fella, little jack. Had to go. Keen eyed among you will see I've got my jerk bait back on. Come round this corner into this area, it's just full of lily pads, so it just screams jerk baits. I'm going to follow straight away, I had that softy on earlier, I didn't get a look. So I've robbed the hook off that softy. Jet baits are in this kind of cover. I can steer this bait around pads. I can watch it through and just twitch it at right time. And I'll move around. And there's a fish. Had a go. Come out of pads. This is what jet baits are good at. If you get to know your jet bait really well, you can you can fish it through just about. Out. Another really good way fishing this kind of cover is that frog I've brought. Oh, that would a better fish. I don't think that fell hooks. I think it might have been the same fish, I'm not sure. Looked like a better fish that one. Seemed to come from behind as well. There's a fish here. See if we can nail him. He looks lively. Come a couple of times now, see if I can get him to come again. So we know there's fish all along this lily line. Had a few takes. I'm just gonna try casting all the way down the edge it. See if I will come out. Cover a lot of water on this. So I don't catch that one lily there. Stuck about a bit. If you tucked right in and don't want to come out, you might not be able to tempt one out, but covering at least you're covering the whole line. There's another way to, to cover pads like this, and that's on a frog. Um, Brilliant hookers, but about as much fun as you're going to get in pike fishing. With this weedless frog, we can go right over the top. So I'm 
back home. Um, finished off, didn't get any more fish. Uh, tried to get that one that I, I missed in amongst lilies, but didn't get it. Um, learned a few things, and my card filled up, so I didn't have any space to do any more recording. Uh, battery's just about gone as well. So these are things I'm gonna improve over the next few weeks. Uh, just comment on, on waterproofs. Fish today in my waterproofs. If I didn't have them, it'd have been a really wet, miserable day. Uh, if you've got good waterproofs, you can fish comfortable, fish dry. I'm bone dry now. I've been out. I've just literally just taken them off and hung them up. I don't have most expensive waterproofs in the world. A regatta top and some North Face bottoms. But it makes all the difference when you're, you're fishing in bad weather. I'm trying to edit this together now and see if I can come up with some decent. Stay safe. Like and subscribe.